Good morning, dear friends. Here we are. New day, new beginning, and a renewed opportunity to refocus how letting go of the past. Have you ever blessed your past? How often we forget about being the present, forget about preparing for the next steps because we're looking back and we get together with friends and we're looking back and all we do instead of getting together as friends to do the good we're just rewinding the tape that's not progress think about Jesus Jesus was the only master on earth who made his disciples his friends and to date, some people don't want to be friends with him, but it's just temporary. And in this friendship, he revolutionized the concept of friendship. It's not about cherishing good times, but spreading the good. This is true friendship. So look at your friendships and ask, is this friendship in the good or just old time friendship? Yeah, we have to change it. We have to make it better. We're not together to remember the past. We are together to create a new present and of course, a new future. Carlos Torres Pastorino, knowing the importance of letting go of the past, he says to us in the book, Minutes of Wisdom, chapter 280, do not stay stuck in the past, in sad memories. Do not go back to those old hurts. Do not stir old pains and sufferings. What is past is past. From now on, seek to build a new life in the direction of on high, walking forward without looking back. Do like the sun that raises itself up every day without remembering the night that has passed. Wow. That analogy is pure wisdom. Think of the sun. The, the sun is not contemplating with the shadows of the night. The sun is shining. So are you and I. The past is in the past. Let it go. Yes. So true. Disney is right. Yeah, when they did the movie Frozen, let it go. We need to let go of the past. Many of us are having a hard time reincarnating because we want to be in the past. And that causes a stagnation because as we are focused on the past, we cannot progress. Let go of the past. Let us reinvent ourselves and move forward, friends. Yes, it's our invitation for all of us, right? So let us move forward. How? Blessing the past. Sister Shayla, who used to be on earth in her last reincarnation, a nurse, a German nurse, became a renowned benefactor in the spirit realm. Friends with Dr. Bezeri and other spirits who are helping people around the world. She wrote a message through Chico Xavier named, Bless it. Bless the past, she says. It, no matter how hard it was, it served a purpose. Today, 
is the focus. Practicing mindfulness will give us new health. Let us always seek the good, seeking the good every day, all the time. Learning to let go. So if you recall something, say, I bless it. Thank you. Case closed. And like the sun, let shine our inner light, the light of God. After all, Jesus said, you are let us pray. Dear Mother, Father God, we would like to thank you for the gift of this message. We don't take it for granted ever. For such wisdom recalibrates us, opens ourselves to another level of relationship with you. We feel at this moment a shower of healing light enveloping us, mind and bodies. At each breath, like the waves of the sea, we let go of the past to letting the new, to let you, God, be with us without our hesitations. As we breathe in and out, we feel molecules of healing permeating ourselves. We visualize our loved ones enveloped in your love, our homes, our neighborhoods, our cars, transportations being enveloped in your healing and we see healing light traveling to the state where we live in, to our countries, continents, creating bridges of friendship amongst nations. And we pray especially for those who are tormented by sex addictions. We pray that they find new healing, new beginnings in your love, letting go of their own torments. We visualize a world with peace, kindness, and understanding. Thank you, God. And so be it. Right? Do you feel it? I feel it too. The blessings of these spirit messengers who are guiding us daily, who know exactly what we need. Friends, we are so blessed to know of this message. Today, let us declutter and let go of the past. In God, everything is possible. Thank you, friends, for joining us. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Slavic. Thank you, Gabriel Inácio. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, Narciso. Thank you, Antonio. We wish you all live and on demand. A beautiful day letting go of the past and opening ourselves to the new of the day. Be mindful in God's love. Thank you, friends. We'll see you tomorrow, God willing.